You know, today is a Sunday afternoon. It's a quiet afternoon. And it's interesting because just, I was just thinking about this, like there were a few things that happened and just, just 10 years ago, I was starting out my career in cybersecurity. And if you were to come up to me and tell me, hey, Mr. Hackaloy, or back then it would have been, back then it would have been Script Kitty Loy. And you say, hey, 10 years later, you are going to make $500,000 a year as a principal security engineer at FANG or bank. I would say, how is that possible? What did I do? Can it really be done? Difficult, I would say. Challenging, not the least. And at that time, 10 years ago, I was just starting out. I was helped as engineer. And at the time, in my city, if you could get anything from $24,000 a year to $36,000 a year, that's amazing. Anything more is just unbelievable. And I wasn't the best student. I wasn't the brightest student. Far from it. I was like the average student. And I learned like computer science. I learned computing. I learned how to code a thing or two. But we didn't really have a lot of real world experience. I've done some internships at small size companies and like installing VPN servers, fixing computers. I knew nothing about fixing computers back then. They gave me the shot and I was pretty excited about it. So I was at the start of my career and it was exciting. It was pretty exciting. It was fun. It was challenging, but I knew cybersecurity was something that felt natural. And there are some things that you should really get good at when it comes to cybersecurity. And that's the fundamentals. Get the foundation right. If you get the foundation right, everything will come to you. All the great things will come to you. So get the fundamentals right. Like, think about like computers, right? And think about how they talk to each other. The networking piece, the compute piece. Get those right. Think about coding some things. Get those right. Think about something complex, like a content management system, enterprise resource planning system. Work on them. See how it goes. But don't say no. Go for it. You have vitality in you. If you're coming into cybersecurity, getting the fundamentals right is, is critical. Because that's where you build a really solid, really, really solid foundation for everything else. And cybersecurity is not easy. And I see lots of courses that are being marketed, that are being promoted. They kept saying three weeks boot camp, a month boot camp, and you get into cybersecurity. It's possible. It's possible if you come from a computer science background. That's possible. But majority of the time, if you're not coming in from a an IT background, it would be pretty difficult, very challenging. And how many companies out there, think about it, you're an IT manager, you're a cybersecurity manager, you want to hire, and you probably have some options. Where you hire someone who is coming out three years from college or university, from computer science, who has done some coding, who has built some sites, who has done a bit of internships here and there. Or would you go for someone who is like, just had a three week bootcamp? 
The answer is obvious. And in the interview process, it'll be pretty different too. The way that they could answer the questions. The way the questions are answered. You'll be asking simple things like, how do two computers talk to each other? How do you secure a database? How do you, in fact, simple one, what is the OSI layers? What are they? How many layers are there? Those are simple questions. Get them right. Get them right, you go a long way. And of course, like I say, I would have never imagined myself here in this position, like being a security engineer at a Mang or a Fang company. I would never have imagined that. And it came from lots of reading, burning through lots of weekends, starting a lot, reading a lot. And how can it be success without any sacrifice? So sacrifice that. And it usually is because you have a passion for it. It's something that you feel some interest in it, but it's not developed fully where it becomes an obsession. It's just the start, start of the journey and you want to become obsessed with it. So you have to tinker with it. You have to try. You have to play around with it. Like for example, when I was just several years ago, when I was interviewing at Amazon, I was also interviewed by several other companies who gave me an offer too. I was given the offer at Cisco, I was given the offer at McAfee, now known as Sky High. I passed all of them. It all went down to fundamentals. Always. The foundational piece of things. You get it right. All the questions are asked to of you. You'll be able to tackle them easily. Of course, back then there wasn't things like ChatGPT and you had to really like get lots of books free. But now with this Gen AI ChatGPT around, you can just ask questions. If you don't know, fire it up, ask ChatGPT a question. Have a passion for it, set up a, a cybersecurity lab, an ethical hacking lab, set that up. Don't wait, set it up, it's low cost. Get a Raspberry Pi. It's less than $200. Get it, install it with Colonics, use it, get a small laptop, a small PC, install Colonics on it, try it, try running them. You have to have hands on experience. And back then, of course, cloud really wasn't that big of a thing. All right, it was growing, but it didn't become the mammoth that it is today. So, but there were glimpses, there were indicators that is coming up. There were things that were showing that is coming up. And that's, those are the things that you need to take note of, that you need to be, that you need to know of, like now. What's hot right now in cybersecurity? Think about it. Other than Gen AI, of course. What else is hot about cybersecurity now? Call security? Is that hot? Is that big? Are there demands for it? When you're searching for jobs, you go to LinkedIn. Do you see it come up? Do you see those skills being asked of you, like AWS security, Azure security, Google Cloud security, do they come up? What about offensive security? Do they come up? Do they ask of you to 
Do they ask of you, how do you build payloads? How do you bypass EDRs? How do you secure service? The ultimate goal of many of these businesses and organizations is simply just don't get hacked. Okay? And you have to align yourself to that. You have to get the skills of that. So think about like, think about like a company who just started a couple of years ago. They are likely going to be deploying their workloads, their IT systems, likely on the cloud. 90% of the chances they're on a cloud. Their workloads are running, they're growing, they're growing aggressively. They want to make sure it never goes down. So that, because it's revenue, it creates revenue for them, it's revenue generating, they don't want it to go down. And your job as a cybersecurity professional is to ensure that, is to help them secure those systems. And that's how you get a job. And that's how you get a role at it. And to get a role at it, you need to demonstrate that you have the skills and experience on it. So experiment. Experiment with these technologies. If you have not started a website on the cloud, go out there and do it right now. Log in right now. Set it up. It's only like $5 a month to set it up. Maybe even lower. Or maybe a little higher, depending on where you go. But the experience is what matters. I mean, think about it. It's at least four or five thousand dollars a month compared to hosting a website, gaining the experience, gaining the knowledge for ten dollars a month. It's worth it. Well worth it. Tinker with security technologies. There's lots of free ones, open source ones. It's all around. They're all around. Go for them. Try them out. Don't just watch the videos I produce. Don't just watch the tutorials I produce. Reproduce them in your own lab. Try them out. Be curious. Be really curious about things that are happening. Think about all the common vulnerability exposure. Have you read the payloads? Have you tried the payloads? Have you tried to install a server of that version that is vulnerable? Try that. Get experience for it. Join a community in a city near you. I am certain there are monthly meetups for the cybersecurity professionals, security user groups. Go for it. Go there and meet people. Talk to them. Interact with them. Try to mirror them. See what you're doing with the careers. What certifications are they going for? What are they reading? What are they watching? Go for that, too. Ultimately, get the fundamentals right. Get the fundamentals right first. Then you start doing all those things. You start meeting people. You start connecting with people. You start tinkering with things that are a little more advanced. But it's good for you. It's good for your career. You know that. Cybersecurity is not, I mean, if you see boot camps to tell you that you can get in cybersecurity within a week, within a month, highly unlikely. Go for things that are hard, that challenges you, then you'll move faster. Then you're really that you really know your own limits and then you can keep testing the limits of yourself. Keep pushing yourself, get better, get further. A new CV, go read it. A new exploit, go try it. Have a hacking lab in place, get the fundamentals right. These are the things you need to get really good at cyber. That's how I do it again. That's how I would do it all over again.
get a fundamental right. Think about encryption. Think about networking. Think about databases. Think about applications. If you have the core, you have the basic rights. You get them right. You go far. And everything else would just look easy or easier for you.